Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Aye. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Rothgar. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. I...
So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Shout at us, and let us taste of your voice. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky, and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, Force, to focus your thumb more sharply. <laughs> you learn a new word like a master. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Unrelenting force shout 
to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. You learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. See that you have already begun to learn the whirlwind sprint shout. Master Bore will teach you Kest, Tempest, the third word of whirlwind sprint. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bore. Then he will gift you his knowledge of Kessel. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? X! Wolf! Now, it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident.